Well, I think uh, the, the, this is obviously a great time of the year, and, and uh, for us, you know, trying to erase the memories of last year, and, and you know, a key point for us is it's 2010. You know, and, and you know, with each year, the thing about athletics is with with it, with each new season is a new opportunity, and I think from a program standpoint, we're excited about that new opportunity. And, and the biggest thing we say is, you know, just because we've been losing doesn't mean we're lost. I mean, we've got great kids in our program, and, and academically as sound as as anybody, and, and we feel very good about that. And uh, community support-wise, community service-wise, we've got kids that are in the community and generally, generally giving their time and, and their efforts to help and assist other people. And, and so there's so many things within our organization, you know, the most important things of, of academics and community service that are in place. And, you know, again, we, we've lost games, um, and it's, it's been difficult for us. And so that was the biggest thing we needed to address you know, during the off season, I think that we've made some adjustments, uh, coaching staff wise, to give Fairmont State University a better chance to win football games. Uh, you know, and and that is with you know the biggest change was bringing in uh, Brian Fisher, who was the head coach at Robert C. Bird, and uh, just a you know dynamic personality, a you know a great teacher of the game and a great teacher of life. I mean, he he fits right in, and you know we're we're blessed and fortunate to have a guy of his uh, personality and his caliber. And, you know, he was exciting in the spring, and, and he really, uh, you know, changed the, you know, certainly changed things, you know, offensively and even even within our team. You know, he's he's made me a be become a better head coach, and uh, and so we're very fortunate to have him, and we think he's going to allow us, you know, to, to have a better chance to win some football games, and, and that was a big thing that we needed. And, and defensively last year, we, we kind of folded early, and, and you know, and... Uh, and, and really, special teams wasn't as well as we th didn't do as well as we thought it should. So it was really just, you know, those areas that we thought were stronger, uh, you know, within the, the structure of the program, kind of folded a little bit. And it hurts. It hurts as a head coach to look back and and, and realize that, that that actually did happen. Uh, but you know, I believe God's got a plan, and and I think that and I believe in that. And you know, I think that in order to achieve success, you've got to have those you know those pretty you know true failures and. That was a failing, failing situation in terms of winning and losing football games, and and so uh, I think the biggest thing is it's a new season, it's a new opportunity for our organization. As you noted, Brian Fisher's your new offensive coordinator, brother of Florida State head coach Jimbo Fisher, and he certainly got a couple of very talented players at skill positions to work with, with Perry Baker returning at wide receiver and Doug Brazil at running back. Well, sure, he's you know he come in and and you know he he liked the personnel that we had in, in some areas, and there were some areas he think thought we needed to address and. Uh, it was good that he came in in time for recruiting because uh, his, you know, his ability to get some kids in, you know, uh, for this class was important. And we ended up getting a couple kids eligible uh, that we think are going to help us this fall. And, and, you know, these are guys that fit his system. And it's going to take some time, um, you know. But you know, Perry's a special player. But but Perry's been injured, and Perry's got a lot to prove. He's had a pretty good summer. But you know, Perry could be one of the best in the league. It's a very talented league, especially at that position. And he wants to he wants to get his name back up there. He feels very disappointed about what happened last year. Uh, although, in reality, having a high ankle sprain is is equivalent to having a quarterback with a blown out shoulder. It just doesn't work, you know. And it, for a guy that can run and change directions, you know, when you have that high ankle sprain, and it doesn't go away, you know, it takes half a year for a high ankle sprain, a true high ankle sprain, to heal. And and so that he's excited about trying to change that and, and get it, like I say, get his name back up there. And you know, and Doug's Doug's had a great summer, and he's a, he's a you know, he's a leader. Doug's a leader, and he's one of the, the most, uh, you know, important people within our organization. He's always in class and always doing things right, and he's just a hard worker, and he's got talent, you know, so we're excited about that, and of course, Coach Fisher likes him as well. What style of offense will Coach Fisher be bringing to the table? Well, I, you know, you, you know, I've you know, spent, obviously spent some time with Coach Keller, and, you know, uh, I think that he's, he's multiple and, and, you know, is just uh, balanced. You know, so I mean, he we could spread it out, and then we can get down and get into too tight stuff. I mean, just try to be balanced. I mean, to say he's going to come out and throw it all over the park is is as inaccurate as saying that he's going to come out and just run the ball all day long too. So he's balanced and uh, just tries to be good at the fundamentals of the game. You know, takes pride in, in that aspect of it, and and uh, and so it's going to be pretty much a balanced situation. You were an all-conference defensive player at Fairmont State, defensive coordinator under Rusty Elliott, now as head coach, still defensive coordinator as well. Defense has always been strong. It's been a trademark for Fairmont State. Expecting much the same this year? Yeah, I mean, we, 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 we've got to get better from last year. You know, we've, we addressed some issues there, too. And I actually promoted Sharam Shafi, a, a former player of mine, two-time first-team all-conference player, great kid. Uh, he's going to be our co-defensive coordinator for this year. Um, 
Uh, he's a great young coach, and he's got the fire and the passion that – not that I don't have now, but that I once had as a young young coach. You know, you, you seem to shift your, enthousi- your enthusiasm and attitude in different places. Uh, but, I mean, we've got some guys back. We're excited about Dewey McDonald and Greg Underwood in the secondary. You know, we've got to find an answer at corner. We, we think we're going to – you know, there's going to be some competition there. We've got to find some answers. Up front, we feel good. Luke Black and MJ Twyman and Devin Johnson, Tony Patterson, and B- Jack Charles and Travis Bunner, those kids are all – you know, pretty good, and they're, and they're all, you know, had good summers. At linebacker, we're going to be hurting. we got Dan Dario returning, you know, and, and the two other guys are going to be newcomers. So, you know, that's going to be our biggest challenge, you know, is that linebacking core. But uh, the safety and corner, safety is going to be all right. Up front should be all right. But, you know, say corner, we've got, got some issue. But uh, we're excited about it. You know, we're excited about defense. I mean, we should – but who knows? You know, we've never – uh, you never had a situation, you know, where you've had a Brian Fisher on the other side of the football, you know. And so I'm anxious to see how our defense, you know, kind of goes along with, with his style of offense. And, and uh, so it's exciting, though. It's exciting to think about, but you just never know until the ball's kicked off. You know. Fairmont State head football coach Mike Lochepez joining us on the 2010 WVIAC football preview.